Hello, thank you for joining me. This is our uh, video number four in a series on how to use uh, PhotoView uh, 360 to get a photo real image of our door that we worked on last week. And what I'd like to show you in this video is a little bit more on scenes before we transition to lights and some other settings in regard to PhotoView 360. So, uh, in regard to scenes, we just showed, uh, I just showed you the factory scene here. But there are other, other scenes that we can uh, go to and uh, make mani manipulations to. So if you go to edit scene, we did our basic uh, four scenes over here with uh, the kitchen, the courtyard, uh, the factory background that we use ultimately. But uh, if you go to studio scenes, there are some options over here too that you might find uh, interesting. For instance, we can go to grill lighting. Grill lighting allows if you have a uh, you know, reflective surface, we'll actually reflect some of the light qualities off that grill that uh, appears to be in the background, but it really isn't. But uh, it does give a little bit of a reflective background to it. It does give some uh, lighting characteristics to this. It's got some other interesting aspects over here, too, that can be uh, manipulated. So, regarding this one, we have a gradient lighting. You can change these colors if you want. Maybe dark green on the top. Uh, on the bottom, maybe you want to make that dark. Maybe dark blue, perhaps. That gives us a nice gradient for that. We can put our decal on the front of the door over here. It also gives us the ability to adjust the, the bottom of the floor over here, too. So let's go ahead and scoot in a little bit closer, because we know we have to do that with PhotoView 360. Let's see what that looks like. Let's go to the final rendering of that and see what that looks like. And I should put our door a little bit closer in here. And that's a little bit too close. So I'm going to go ahead and bail out of that for now. Pull out just a little bit. Go back to PhotoView 360 and go to final rendering. And what I like to do is be able to see what that door looks like on the bottom. You notice that I do have the floor shadows on, and the door is actually consistent or coplanar with the bottom of the of the scene here. So you notice that when we put this all together, that it does appear to be uh, right on top of the floor. It doesn't really show a shadow, but it does show how the light reflects off the floor in regard to the door being uh, within close proximity to it. So a lot of different settings you could choose here. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this and exit out of that. And uh, let's go back to the original gradient, or maybe something a little bit different. I'm going to transition to maybe black in the bottom. Okay. Lights. We to go to lights. Go back up to your uh, display manager. Uh, we talked about appearances, uh, decals, and back to scenes. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do the green check mark here and get that out of the way. Uh, we want to go down to lights. We've done scenes on the top of our manager tree over here. Now we want to do lights. So we have scene illumination. If we want to make adjustments to that, we can. And it just uh, either increases or decreases the brightness, uh, the rendering brightness, and uh, scene for reflectivity. Play with these settings on your own. They're kind of fun to play with. There are a lot of settings in here. You can adjust uh, the, the ambient light. Perhaps all we want to do is be relying upon uh, the lights that are coming to the scene. And uh, we can uh, use those lights only, or we can adjust the ambient light on and off if you like. So right now it's off in SolidWorks, but uh, we can edit that light and make that a little bit uh, brighter. Now different scenes will have different uh, options in regard to the ambient light. So right now it looks like it's off, and now we can make it on, and we can make adjustments to that if you like. So if you go to Edit Light, and right now uh, its brightness is only 0.3. And uh, again, adjust the brightness to make it uh, better or smaller. So if we were to reduce the effects of the ambient light, make that smaller. And the same thing with the directional light. We, it comes with two directional lights in regard to this scene. You could add lights, and, uh, or you take away lights too, and take away all the, the directional lights. But let's go ahead and uh, show those lights and where they're at, and let's edit those lights. So let's edit all lights, so we can edit these lights at the same time. So you notice that the lights kind of appear in the model. And uh, we have one up uh, over here, which is one we can uh, move. We can take these lights and move those around. You can see what it looks like as we move these lights around. One thing you want to make sure you're doing is you want to lock these lights to the model. So you want to make sure that this check mark is down here is uh, locked to the model. That way, I mean, we really want to look at the model. We don't want to look at anything else uh, behind the model. But it's difficult to manage the lights if you don't have it locked to the model. And what I like to do is I like to take my lights and uh, maybe put it uh, on the top view and see where the lights want to be. I want to make sure that one of the lights is from the left, one's from the from the from the right, and then from the front view I want to make one of the lights from the bottom and one of the lights from the top, perhaps. 
and we can go back to the top view to make sure it's still in that orientation. And then with the right view, I want to make sure that one's coming down again from the top, and the other one's coming up from the bottom. So kind of rotate it around, go between those different views, and this one's kind of in the wrong location. So it's a little bit of an iterative process to get it the way you like. Like colors, you can change that. The site's already selected, so let's go ahead and edit the color. Maybe make that kind of a, perhaps a light blue light. If you want to, you can uh, you go to OK. Go back to edit that color if you like. If you want to make that uh, a little bit lighter or darker, you can do that. So what you want to do is you want to, when you click on that color, instead of going to the standard palette that they give you, go to define custom colors. It shows you where you're starting. If you want to make that light a little bit uh, lighter, you can do that. So that's that light. So if you click on this light, let's go ahead and edit this color, and let's make this a little bit opposite of that, uh, maybe a red color. Go to define custom colors, and I'm going to make this a little bit lighter. And then go OK. So if you want to have a, an ambient uh, faction to that light, you can do that. You can adjust that and kind of see what that's going to look like. like it's kind of a diffuser in a way. A brightness to it. You make that light really bright if you like. Specularity is how the light reflects off the surface. And uh, some other ad, uh, you know, elements here too. So if you want to put in some specific values for longitude and latitude, you can see how these change around a little bit. So it does have a negative and positive value. If you think of this as being a big globe over here, longitude are these uh, north-south lines that are going to go around the globe, and you want to define it either be between 0 and 180, and then you know, a, a negative value on the other side uh, until it gets to minus 180 and so on and so forth. Latitude is where uh, the light's going to be. So now, right now we're at a 90, 41 degrees latitude. As this thing wraps around the top and goes over the top of the door, then you know it's going to get up to 90 degrees, sort of thing. So I think it's pretty close to where I want it. Let's go to go to the green check mark, and this is kind of a long film. Sorry about that, but if we go to Photo View 360, do a final render, and uh, no, I don't want to take that survey. Let's do that later, please. Let's see what that looks like. So remember, uh, I took my uh, ambient settings and reduced those down a little bit. And I also increased uh, the, you know, just slightly, uh, the impact of the, the intensity of the lights for the, the standard lights that uh, come with it. So the door isn't really centered again, so you got to uh, think about that when you render the door. Let's get that a little bit closer. Go to Photo View 360 and go to Final Rendering and see what that looks like. Yep, it's looking better. So it's going to go through each pixel and uh, define a specific color. There are some settings in regard to that window. If you want to make that window transparent, it's coming through as a being opaque right now, and that could be adjusted, but it's beyond the scope of uh, these series of videos. So we'll cover that in a future video, or perhaps explore that on your own. So that doesn't look too bad. I think what I'd like to do is probably reduce the effects of the ambient, maybe bring that down to zero and then bring up the intensity of the other lights that are associated with that. I think it might come out to look uh, much better than that, but we'll do that as we progress through this and go through some more settings. So thanks for joining me. Please join me again.